Waterhead friend, it's Piotte, your French witch, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this one shoulder holster. For this DIY, everything you need is only two bells, a piece of fake leather, three rings, any kind of ornaments for the decoration, and some glue. Disclaimer! First, I made this DIY alone by myself. I'm not a professional, so it's definitely not perfect. But I really try my best, so I hope it will be clear enough for you. When I started to edit the video, I realized maybe an instruction manual was necessary, so I made a few quick drawings to illustrate all the steps of this DIY. Let me explain quickly the first drawings. On this first image is the left side of your shoulder holster. You're gonna need to cut your first belt in three pieces. On this image is the same side, but here the belt buckle is closed. I also add the preview of the one holster. Here is the way I'm going to attach the one holster. The right side is a bit different because there is no one holster. So I'm just going to use one ring to attach the front and the back parts together. This drawing is a different point of view of the shoulder holster with the back support. I already cut my two belts in four pieces, two pieces per side if the belt buckle is closed or three pieces per side if the belt buckle is open. I'm attaching three rings, one for both front parts, left and right, on the piece with the belt buckle and the third one on the back of the left side. For the last piece of belt, the right one, you have to attach it to the same rings on the right front part, like this. The left side has two rings to leave a space for the one holster, like this. At this point, your part is supposed to look like this. I drew this part in for the back support of my shoulder holster, but you can draw any kind of design and adapt it to your back shape. I also made this part in to do this, but it's optional. You can also design imagine this part as you wish. If you decide to make those decorative parts, you need 8 of them. For the back support, only 2 pieces are necessary. Then glue pieces together. I'm a perfectionist, I like to have smooth and clean edges, so I put those sweat ribbons around the edges. But again, it's optional. And because details are everything, I made those extra little decorative pieces too. Time to assemble the decorative and the belt pieces together. At this point, you're supposed to have something like this. I also add extra ornaments on my shoulder holster. Now it's time to create the one holster. Well, to be honest, I'm not really happy with the design. When everything is put together, it's a little tricky to take off your one from such a shaped holster. So I highly recommend you to make small changes.
10 glue pieces together. Here the space on the middle is for the one. Put some glue on the side but carefully avoid the center. Because I need to glue the small part on the top of the one to shape the one holster, I put some cling film on my one to protect it. I'm also adding details to match the rest of my creation. So now our shoulder holster looks like this. The detail of the left side. the right side. I show you again the illustrated version just in case. Now we have to assemble everything together like this. At this point the front and the back of your right side is attached by the ring. So for the next step open the belt buckle to your right side to have four pieces like this. Then glue the both front part on the top of your back support and on the opposite edge the two back parts. Then cover everything with the second piece of leather of your back support. Time to add the one holster. And voila! I wanted my DIY to fit a lot of people, so at this point it's too big for me. Instead of cutting the excess, I just fold it like this. I put this shoulder holster on my friend Mitsugi, who records the intro and the outro of this video. Thank you, buddy. He is 187cm and he fits him. But if you're taller or bigger, you can use a longer belt just in case. So some adjustment will be necessary because we're all unique and different. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions, just leave me a comment below. I'm already working on a new kind of shoulder holster, much more easier. So if you think this one is too advanced, just stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be noticed of my new video. If you want to see more of my content, you can also follow me on Instagram. See you soon, Potterhead friends!